What is up YouTube? I'm Devon Da Vinci and I wanted to address one way that you can support the channel if that is something that you would like to do. We all need t-shirts. And if you happen to be in the market for a graphic tee anyway, why not check out my affiliation link at TeePublic. Here you will see different designs that I handpicked myself and new designs that will be added on a weekly basis. This week's featured item will be t-shirts themed after the IT crowd, which is currently a show that I'm doing reactions to on YouTube. So if you happen to be a fan of that show, feel free to come through and check it out. And I will be adding t-shirts, as I said, on a weekly basis. So be sure to look at it, not just once, not just twice, but on a weekly basis. Link to my tea Public storefront will be in the description box down below. What is up, Patreon subscribe supporters? Supporters. What's up, Patreon supporters? <laughs> I was about to say subscribers, but like that. I don't think that's the case. Um, how's everybody doing? Uh, Malisha, I saw your post. I see that you want me to react to Adit the One's new Try Not to Laugh challenge. Um, I, at first, I was thinking, like, nah, I want to leave that for uh, YouTube. But now that I think about it, I was already going to wait until Monday before I released any more reactions. Um, so if Patreon gets the weekend exclusive, I guess, more power to them. <laughs> so I will be reacting to that on stream. But here's the thing. See, right now, before I jump into that, boom. I am going to be doing a tier list. Right now, the tier list is going to be about cereal. Now, of course, we can always vote on something else if anybody has any ideas of what they would like to see me react to or what they would like to rank. Because this is going to be somewhat of a community thing. Even though it's like my opinion, it can be swayed if enough people convince me otherwise. So, we have the tier list for cereal so far. Down here is all the cereals that we can choose from. Now, I picked the tier list with the most cereal brands. Now, even though I chose the one with the most cereal brands, that does not mean I'm going to know all the cereals. So, I don't know. <laughs> Like if something is, uh, well, let's go over to the tiers. This will help out better. So obviously SS is going to be the absolute top flight cereals on the market. Um, S rank is going to be the next. And then we have A, B, C, D. Never has going to be cereals that I've never actually tried before. If you guys happen to have had it and can describe it, let's say you can relate it to another cereal that I did have, then I'd be willing to make the adjustment. Probably Trash is going to be the tier list in which, again, I don't really know what it is, but just looking at it, I'm going to assume that it's garbage. And the Trash tier list are cereals that I have actually had that are, in fact, disgusting. This tier list was made by a user by the name of Isaiah Sands. This is just something I just picked off the menu. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take out a row. And then we're going to react to a video. While we're doing the review of um, cereals, you can leave your links for videos in the comment section or the chat of this uh, video. You can leave them in the Patreon thing, which I'll be going back and forth in, I guess. Even though, to tell the truth, if you really want the quickest responses, leave them in the chat or leave them on Discord. That's going to be the best place where you can, like, Rob would be paying the most attention to. Um, one second. Uh, I just want to let people know that, um, Just real quick, because somebody asked me the question. If you would like to be, well, if you're watching this, you're already a part of it. But um, elite crew members are patron supporters. I don't know if, just to let everybody know, if you're a considered elite, if you're considered an elite crew member, then that means that you are a supporter on Patreon. That's what I like to call the Patreon supporters. <laughs> but um, yeah, let's go ahead and do this. So we have the first. Okay, so I'm looking at the first row, and it doesn't like going to be the greatest, but let's go ahead and jump into it. Now, forgive me if I pick something that you don't like. Now, the things that I've tried, <laughs> I'm probably not going to be convinced on, but you can convince me on the stuff that I have tried. Okay, so what's this? 
this first one oh, is there a way to zoom in just a little bit more let me see there we go there we go good now i got a good view of it. this first item is going to be shredded wheat shredded wheat is trash i don't know how who out there has actually had it i'm not talking about the frosted shredded wheat i'm not talking about anything like that this is just the plain old shredded wheat and milk i do not like eating bales of hay for goddamn breakfast those go in the trash tier no questions asked are we all in agreement with that shredded wheat is garbage <laughs> like I, I matter of fact i like to see somebody try to defend shredded wheat go ahead somebody give me a reason and while y'all try to leave your defenses of shredded wheat if there is any people that's willing to defend it i'll move on to the next one frosted shredded wheat i'm going to put this in the c list because it seems like it's like right there in the middle like it's 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 good but at the same time it's like eh there are better cereals, so I can't put it higher than, like, average. <laughs> it's not unhealthy. Hmm. See, that does open up some um, questions. The fact that... Uh, the fact that we have different ideas of, like, why you eat cereal. We have some people that ate it for the taste... We have some people that eat it for the health factor. So I guess that is some points that we have to throw in there. That being said, shredded wheat is still trash. Because even still, it doesn't have a lot of nutritional value. It's just a lot of carbs. Like Don't be, don't be confused by the fact that it's called whole wheat. It's not 100% wheat. It's like still somewhat processed. Okay, I want to try... Frosted chocolate strawberry. Uh, never had it. Don't know anything about it. Anybody that has tried it, let me know. I am not. <laughs> like, I can't give you the full one way or the other, whether it's good or not. I don't know. If I had to judge, I would say it's like maybe average. It seems like that'd be something that you really have to have a taste for. Strawberry frosted, I'm going to leave in the same spot. Same thing. It looks decent. Don't know a lot about it. <laughs> now, nah, we'll, we'll, we'll have the cereals that shred your mouth up later on. That's, that's more of the Captain Crunch area. Okay, what's this? Okay, I'm definitely seeing two shredded wheats here. original shredded wheat. maybe this is mini shredded well one of these no i think this is original this is mini shredded wheat i think either way it's still trash it's the same thing it's just in a bite size who cares now just because you take the bales of hay and make them smaller don't make them good all of a sudden still garbage this is i'm guessing some type of cinnamon maybe but again since i can't really see the box it goes in the trash goes in trash don't know don't care it's whatever. Uh, Cheerios Oat Crunch. Now, I've had these before. They are good. <laughs> I'm not going to say they're not good. But at the same time, how good? Yeah, I'm willing to put these in the B. They're better than the frosted wheats and stuff like that. And now that I think about it, I think I've had more situations where I've craved frosted shredded wheat more than I've craved Cheerios Oat Crunch. I'm gonna put this over here. Also, let me go ahead and step, uh, simplify something else. These are tiers, but what I'm gonna do is the cereal that's closer to the left are gonna be cereals that are higher in that tier. The ones to the right or further to the right are gonna be lower. So it's gonna go from best in the tier to lowest in the tier. Cookie crisp, cookie crisp, cookie crisp. See, when I was younger, I used to like these because it was more so the, the characters and the commercials, not so much the cereal itself. Because it, let's be real, it tastes nothing like cookies. It's uh, 
It's like dehydrated. That being said, I would probably put these in C as well. <laughs> okay, so I just got a bunch of cynical uh, cereals, non-supporters, apparently. Everybody got a problem. Mm. Yep, I saw the post you put on announcements, John. Um, For Patreon stuff, try to keep Patreon stuff only in the Patreon announcement tab. Don't... um. Post it on the regular announcements because then anybody can get access to it. Like regular stuff can go into the regular announcements, but Patreon exclusive stuff we're, we keep on the Patreon announcements. Um, let me see. What the hell? Maple bacon donuts. <laughs> I don't know. Oh man, that's cool. I, I got rid of it. Um, I, I already posted on uh the Patreon announcements a while ago. I mean, yeah, it's 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 good. Maple bacon is good. Like if this was like a breakfast sandwich or something, it'd be great. But it's a cereal. Never had it, but probably trash. Chicken and waffles, probably trash. Good friends, Kisha. Okay, I know Kish is like really, really, really healthy cereals normally. So that's a point for it. But I can't see what's on this pay, uh, this picture. It looks like... It looks like dried bird crap. Or baguettes or something. I don't... The fact that the only thing I see on the front of the box is fiber. <laughs> if that's your selling card, <laughs> you're probably trash. Let's, let's, let's go ahead and get that out of the way. If the only thing you have on your cereal uh, is, we have a lot of fiber, chances are you're a trash cereal. <laughs> Healthy, but trash. Oh, man. Okay, Cocoa Puffs. Now we get into the real stuff. Cocoa Puffs. Cocoa Puffs is another one of those cereals that chances are you ate when you were growing up before you went to school. Uh, you got caught up in the, the hype about how it turns milk into chocolate milk and all that other stuff. Um, let me know how everybody feels about Cocoa Puffs. Because while, while Cocoa Puffs are okay, I feel like it's more of a gimmick. It's one of those gimmick cereals. Like back in the day when you had the oatmeal that had the dinosaur eggs in it and then you like put it in your oatmeal and you heat it up and the eggs like melt it and turn into like dinosaurs. It was great, but it was a gimmick. <laughs> That's another thing we have to separate. Um, America and the UK have different cereals. And even if we have the same cereal, a lot of times it'll be like something different about it. So if you know the equivalent, just let me know. It's 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 still cool. We'll still throw it on the list. Okay, so you say B tier. Uh yeah, I mean I I I can picture it. Cocoa Puffs definitely deserve to be higher than these cereals. I'll say that much. Okay, Wheaties. Wheaties is the Gatorade of cereals. Anybody that's a sports fan knows about Wheaties. Matter of fact, if you've ever eat, I'll say this. If you've ever eaten Wheaties, it's only because you've been brainwashed by sports personalities that this is what they eat. When in actuality, chances are they're eating real breakfast like eggs and bacon and sausage and things like that. They're not eating no goddamn Wheaties for breakfast. Nobody eats Wheaties. For those of you that know about uh, uh nutrition and stuff Wheaties don't have anything <laughs> like it's like taking raisin bran and taking out the raisins and calling it cereal that that's pretty much what it is so Wheaties can go in the trash because they're garbage fake healthy cereal pretending to be healthy cereal they, they can they, they can they can they can, uh, about to, see, I don't know how, 
you know what? Screw it. This is a Patreon stream. I'm not going to be monetized anyway. They can eat a dick. All right. So let's go ahead and do this. We have Reese's Puffs. Reese's Puffs. Reese's Puffs. Reese's Puffs. Reese's Puffs are going to be S tier at least. I don't know about you guys, but I eat the hell out of Reese's Puffs. To this day, I still eat Reese's Puffs. Um, it's one of my go-tos. Now, I'm wondering if it's going to be double S or if it's going to be single S. That, that's the question. I don't know which. I don't know which. <laughs> um, I'm going to put them on SS tier unless somebody gives me a reason to take them out. Because, like I said, this is my go-to cereal. These things are amazing. I can't even like find an equivalency for them because there's no cereals that are quite like them. Like there's no, I can't think of anything else like them. But anyway, time for some serious business again. We are going back into the cereals and we're going to see this next tier list, which Okay, is this on here twice? Frosted chocolate and strawberry. I think it's on there twice. Well, yeah, there's a number of cereals on here twice, I think. Because here goes the frosted shredded wheat strawberry again. Well, I'm just going to go ahead and put these. You know what? No, I'm just going to leave them there. Screw it. I'm going to leave them there. Somebody messed up and put them on twice. I'll just make sure to uh, include three additional cereals. So this one's going to stop on the marshmallow fruit, fruity pebbles. But anyway, let's go ahead and jump into this. Tricks. Now, tricks, I'm going to put in, I'm planning on putting it in the B tier. Now, if this was just the regular, like the new Twix that are, everything is just like spheres, then it would be in C. But I'm old school. I remember when tricks were shaped like fruit, and that's what I actually enjoyed. <laughs> like, if you're going to make me eat some type of corn-based fruit cereal at least make me my mind think that i'm eating fruit in some way in some small way the fact that they took the extra effort to mold each piece into a fruit it makes it that much better so those going to be list as far as i'm concerned tricks aren't really fruit loops they're what would be the equivalent i, I don't really i can't really think of the, I'm an equivalent form um yeah i can't think of an equivalent all right next we have alphabet or alphabets i guess is just what it's called now again much like wheaties these are a cereal that are more popular based on propaganda than it is the actual cereal being good um there's another cereal that's like that. I'm not sure if it's going to appear on this list, but it's it's another one. You're right, John. You're right. I was thinking trash. I was thinking the trash list. Now, the reason why I was kind of hesitant on putting them in trash somewhat is because it's not just straight up shredded wheat. It's not just straight up brand cereal. It is a like somewhat cereal, so I figure like if you throw some sugar in it, it can save it. These remind me a lot of um, uh, it's like I'd imagine these are a lot like um, Lucky Charms, but without the marshmallows. So they can still be like redeemed if you put the right stuff with them. Matter of fact, you know what? I'm going to raise these up to D. I can't put them down here. Because I can actually, like I said, I can see myself eating these. If I just put some cereal, uh, some sugar or something in them. That doesn't mean that they're not massively overblown. These are a cereal that, like I said, people overhype because they were um, either given to kids as, like, given to kids by parents because they think this is going to help them with their alphabet, which it doesn't. Nobody's going to sit there and actually like try to make an alphabet out of this stuff. By the time you got the alphabet done, the cereal's all soggy and stuff. If you do decide to do that, you're going to realize you made a massive mistake and you're going to never do it again. 
<laughs> Gotta get your head off the gutter chop. Okay, next list we have our next item. We have Apple Cinnamon Cheerios. Now we're hitting an area that is very interesting because Cheerio or the flavored Cheerio brands, the Apple Cinnamons, the Frosteds, the um regular cinnamons, the like these are cereals that well let me go ahead and say it. Cheerio is cereal that like automatically I'm I'm gonna put this in A by the way. Cheerios are a cereal that like when they're by themselves, just regular Cheerios, they're down there with the alphabets. That's almost exactly how they taste to me. But once you add flavor to these cereals, it puts them in a whole nother league, like a whole separate league. I'm a big fan of the flavor uh, Cheerios, so just know that. All right, next we have Apple Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I'm familiar with Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Not completely familiar with Apple Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I think I ate this when I was like a kid. I don't know if they like stopped selling it where I was at or what, but I do remember actually eating these a long time ago. Um, I'm trying to think. Do I remember what these taste like? Because looking at them, it makes me think of um, what's the ones that were shaped like toast? Uh, ah, what's that? What's that? What's that cereal that was that the the pieces were shaped like toast? It was um, damn, I forgot the name of it. <laughs> oh, see, we got to get Alicia some cereal. Alicia, we got to get you into some cereal again. Right, like you have to you ha you have to get back into it. And now that we have like healthier options as far as milk, it makes it a lot less uh guilty pleasurey. Just get yourself some Fair Life, or if you happen to be near a Kroger's, get yourself some uh, Car Master. Pretty much the same thing. Just one's generic brand, one's name brand. Oh, you said Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Well, I thought Cinnamon Toast Crunch were the square-shaped ones with the swirls on them. Like, that's... I think I'm thinking of Cinnamon Toast Crunch. That's what I think it's called. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I think that's what I was thinking of. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Oh, see, this is it. Apple Cinnamon Toast Crunch. That, that, that's, that's... This isn't exactly it, because I don't... They added the apple. But it is to Cinnamon Toast Crunch. That's why they're shaped like toast. I was like, it reminds me of something. <laughs> so, yeah. Now, I don't think I've had the Apple version of these. But if I had to guess, these would probably be a lot like Apple Jacks, maybe. Not Apple Jacks. Something different than Apple Jacks. It'd be like, well, I don't, I don't know what type. Of, see, I, I just want to put it in uh, Never Had. I don't know what the what type of seasoning or flavoring they would put on it that would make it apple <laughs> and it just takes me away from it okay next we have banana nut cheerios um never had these they look like they'd be okay but since there's not a probably would be okay tier list <laughs> and i'm not going to add one now i'm going to put it on never had well, i'll take that back if anybody wants to see a probably uh okay tier let me know i could add it but as of right now it's like eh, never had it don't know oh yeah we'd we be swimming in the cereal we have a ton of the cereals um next we have kicks is this regular kicks no it looks like this is um the flavored kicks i think because I'm looking at the box and it has multicolors. Regular Kicks is just plain old, uh, uh, like beige looking. So, flavored Kicks. And I'm gonna still put them in a D, but I'm gonna put them in front of Alphabets. 
Speaking of which, I'm going to go ahead and throw these here. I think this would be better than that. I think this would be better than that. <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and throw that in there. Um, yeah, Flavor Kicks is like... Eh. Okay, Colored Berry Kicks. Yeah, see, like I said, those are... I, I've had those before, and... I feel like the flavor isn't strong enough. Like it has slight flavoring, but it you wouldn't really notice it too much from the regular. That's why I put it there. Blueberry Cheerios. Now these don't look like they would be that great at all. I will throw these on the very either the very end of C or the very uh or very low in C or very high in D. I don't really know. <laughs> like, I don't know what I would, which one I would put it on, because blueberry Cheerios seem like they would be just garbage. Let's put those in high D. Screw it, high D. Speaking of which, blueberry, I'll put you right above the Cheerios because for the same reasons. Maybe I'm just not a fan of blueberry uh, flavored cereals because I had to put it in that same tier list. Like it, it just doesn't seem, it didn't seem that great. Oh, yes. Supermarkets are gigantic in the United States. Like, gigantic. Okay, here we have the same cereals. I'm going to skip that. Chips Ahoy. Chips Ahoy cereal. Personally, I feel like Chips Ahoy cereal does what Cookie Crisp try to do. I feel like their cereal is a little bit closer to a cookie taste than Cookie Crisp. Now... Not a lot, because you can only go so far when it comes to like cereals. So I would probably throw this slightly above Cookie Crisp. I'm gonna throw it slightly above Cookie Crisp. It seems like it seems like it's it's at that spot. Now, Cocoa Pebbles. This is an oldie but a goodie. Um, this is going to get ranked high. I'm thinking I'm going to put these either high A or lower S. And the reason why I'm going to put it in that spot is because, let me see, hold up. I'm going to throw it in S. I'm going to throw it in S because not only do we have a cereal that is good this time, it's an actual good cereal. But at the same time, we still have the same gimmick of turning your cereal or turning your milk into chocolate milk. Only thing is, they don't depend on that. Cocoa Puffs depends on that. Like, they they advertise that as part of their thing. Whereas Cocoa Pebbles doesn't have to do that. So that's why I'm going to put it in the S list. Because they have the extra benefits and features, but they don't go flaunting it. And that speaks confidence, and that's something I enjoy. Um, only downside is Cocoa Pebbles is one of those types of cereals that you're constantly like feeling like there's more in the bowl. Like no matter how much you eat, you end up finding another uh, piece of puffed rice somewhere in the damn milk. <laughs> like no matter how much you try to eat, it's still something still in there. So the fact that you are constantly fishing for these cereals and because of how small they are they get uh, soggy easier that takes some points away okay now we have fruity pebbles this is the next one so fruity pebbles is very similar to cocoa pebbles except it doesn't have the added benefit of um the chocolate milk so i'm throwing these in the a list hey what's up joe welcome to the stream we just got done with the Adik the One Try Not to Laugh Challenge. If you want to check that out, feel free to go back and watch that while we are finishing up the this tier list. Um, after this is up, I will be reacting to something else. Um, or I can just keep doing this until somebody throws a link or something up. Like If you have a video you like me to react to, feel free to uh, throw it up. If I feel like uh, there isn't any requests coming through, I'll just react to something I was planning on reacting to anyway. And we can watch that together. 
because chances are a lot of the videos that I put on this uh, stream are going to be brought over to YouTube later. So we just got done with Fruity Pebbles. As I said, they're good. I'm not denying that, but it's like the, pl the, the plus and minuses are greater for Cocoa Pebbles than they are for Fruity Pebbles. Fruity Pebbles, they're delicious, but they don't turn your milk into chocolate. They don't, uh, well, have the chocolate taste. I prefer chocolate over fruit flavors when it comes to cereals. Um, and they have the added displeasure of the whole fishing through milk situation. Oh, you put the the um, trying to laugh on the Patreon list. See, I'm gonna have to start giving shout outs to people that um, leave the Patreon posts. That way, people will know like who requested it. See, the reason why. Cocoa Crisp or Cookie Crisp are in C is because they try to be cookie flavored, but they're not in a sense. Like if you eat them, you're not thinking, oh, this tastes similar to a cookie. You, you get none of that. It, it has nothing to do with cookie. Chips Ahoy does it a little bit better, which is why I have them slightly above Cookie Crisp. By the way, if you're new to the stream, as I said, uh, these are the tiers. We have double S. S, A, B, C, D. Never had for cereals I've never actually eaten. Probably trash for cereals I've never eaten that I assume is trash just by looking at them. And the trash list, which is cereals that I have had that I know is garbage. Now, these two things right here, I don't know what the hell these are. I'm guessing these are... Okay, I, never mind. I, based on the box, I'm guessing this is just regular shredded wheat. This is... Uh, mini wheat and this is like micro wheat i'm guessing these are like just they just get smaller either way they're all the same plain flavored shredded wheat automatic trash but um yeah the, the reason they're there is because they claim to be cookies but they're not golden oreo o's mm, yeah. i'm gonna throw these well i've never had them but I'm going to put them in the probably trash. Because I've actually had the... Uh... Oh, that's another thing. You can, you don't have to do just videos. You, we can do... Um, like if you have a, 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 a quiz that you'd like me to take or whatever else, that is perfectly fine. This, this, is, this stream is essentially an internet stream. It doesn't have to just be videos. Just like how I'm doing now with the tier list. It can be tier lists. It can be quizzes. It can be stuff internet related. See, at some point in the future, maybe I'll add some challenges as well. But yeah, the reason why I put golden Oreo O's here is because golden Oreo O's are... Oreo O's by themselves are... Yeah. So I'm 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 taking the equivalency of like the cookies themselves. Oreos are good. Golden Oreos are a step below regular Oreos. So when it comes to the cereals, if Oreo O's are meh, then I'm guessing Golden Oreos are a step below that. <laughs> so I'm assuming they're trash. I never had them, but I'm assuming they're probably trash. And last one for this portion of the stream is going to be marshmallow fruity pebbles um marshmallow fruity pebbles this goes up here with the cocoa pebbles probably won't put it past cocoa as of right now but again these have all the benefits of fruity pebbles except they've added marshmallows that is a plus <laughs> and just by doing that you automatically get in the S tier if Fruity Pebbles are A tier. If you take everything from an A tier cereal and add something to it, as long as the add is a positive, 
and in this case, marshmallows are always a positive, you get a tear above. That, that seems fair to me. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and jump back into the cereal. Um, last we left off, we had just finished the Fruity Pebble marshmallows. Next, we have vanilla banana pudding. For those of you that don't know what, the, what a vanilla is, they're the people that make the vanilla wafers that are that you normally see in like banana puddings they're like a little cookie that they or a, what do you guys call it a biscuit that you put in a um, banana pudding um they made a cereal out of it i've never actually had the cereal itself but given the fact that when it comes to turning cookies into cereal you take your expectations and you just like kneecap them i'm going to guess it's probably trash And that's what I'm going to guess. It's probably trash. I doubt it's very good. And yeah. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I know John posted the link, but I think John uh, just copy and pasted it from Patreon. So I don't know if this is like your video itself, John. <laughs> see the vanilla wafers by themselves if i'm in a mood for it i don't really have a problem with them as long as they're crispy i feel like for some reason anytime i eat vanilla wafers usually they're stale so it gives me a bad impression of them to begin with all right next we have nutter butter cereal again you take the stipulation for your expectations for the cookie you absolutely kneecap those expectations, and that gets put down here. <laughs> I'm putting it in a D list because I have tried it. It's not necessarily trash because I have tasted it and it does taste decent. The only thing that takes points away is the fact that if you've ever like eaten these and smelled them, they smell like wood chips. Like they smell exactly like wood chips, and I don't know why. It, it's almost to the point where like you think somebody's done slipped cyanide in your damn cereal. It's that strong. It smells like wood chips or nuts or something like that. And it is it completely throws you off. Okay. Well, that's cool. Like I said, I, I definitely enjoy um, uh, a good quiz. So I'm not against that at all. Next, we have... Oreo O's. Now, Oreo O's, like I said, Golden Oreos, they're a step above those. Me, personally, I'll put these in C. They're the higher end of the cookie flavor cereals. Now, it, now I'm, I understand those of you that are, like, into this, or those of you that don't, that, that have a problem with Oreos themselves, will have a big problem with Oreo O's. And some people that even like the cookies themselves won't like the cereal because there is a difference. Like, it's like taking the Oreos and taking the, the cream out and just eating the cookie part by itself. That's what Oreos kind of taste like. So if you're not a fan of Oreos, you're probably not going to want to eat them anyway. Also, Oreo O's, it's interesting because... When I was growing up, back in the 90s, Oreo O's had originally like just come out. And I was a fan of them. I, I ate them all the time because I enjoyed Oreos. I liked those. At some point in like the early 2000s, they like stopped making them. Or at least stopped making them in America. I believe they still sold them in Australia or somewhere. But recently, i say the last couple years, they re-released them. But the thing is, they're using like a different formula. So they don't taste like the Oreo O's. When I was a kid, like when I was a kid, they taste more dense. Now they taste like. What's the word I'm looking for? Lighter. They don't have the same taste to them. The original Oreo O's were actually good. The new ones are like. I can't even describe them. It's like. For those of you that are cereal fans, you remember that not too long ago, Honeycomb had a new formula, and their cereal tasted worse. 
And then they end up going back to the original formula because people complained about the new formula. It's like that. It's just like that. Okay, next we have peanut butter and chocolate pebbles. Um, these I'm going to throw on the weak end of D. Now, normally peanut butter and chocolate goes great together. And when you put it in a cereal, that only adds to it. But, but. The pebbles, for some reason, it don't go with pebbles. It doesn't. The flavor doesn't work well. Um, again, this is another one of those things that's hard to describe. It's like some pe uh, some of the pebbles taste too strong. Some of them taste too light. There's not a good medium. It's like either you get hardly no. It's like you almost get no flavor of peanut butter and chocolate or you get too much like it's like a really sharp flavor and it like it's so sharp that it throws like it don't even make you think of peanut butter and chocolate next we have honey made s'mores now this cereal is actually good for, for to me i enjoy this this is essentially golden grams with cocoa puffs with marshmallows in it that's what it tastes like you take golden grams and cocoa puffs, you put marshmallows in it, you got some more cereal. That's exactly what it tastes like. They're very good. I enjoy them. Um, so that's why I'm putting them on the A-list. They'll probably be on the low end of A-list because there is another s'more cereal that I enjoy more than these. I don't know if it's going to appear on this. Um, I don't know if it's going to appear on this uh, tier list. But I'm going to keep this in A just in case the other one does pop up. And I'm going to go ahead and give you a spoiler alert. That one's going to go into the double S tier. That flavor works for me. Sour Patch Kids cereal. I'm not even going to beat around the bush. I've never had these, but they're probably trash. <laughs> because cereals only work with flavors that can be kind of fruity or involve milk in some way. So when you're talking about like chocolate, we we're talking about things related to the dairy uh, group. That's where it works out. But when you talk about like candy cereal, that's a no for me, dog. I'm, I'm going to have to go ahead and give it a thumbs down. No. Sour Patch Kids, no, you're probably trash. Haven't had you, you're probably trash. Yeah, I see the request in the, uh, the chat, so that's, that's, I will be checking those out. Now, next. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and move right past that. Honeycomb, 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 honeycomb. Another one of those great cereals. Again, this was a situation where I'm throwing it into the double S tier. I, I love honeycomb. I really do. Um... You can if you want, uh, Alicia, if you happen to see it. Oh, never mind, never mind, it's John. I saw you tagged Alicia. <laughs> you, weren't, you aren't Alicia, you tagged Alicia. I'm sorry. That was a bit of mistaken identity. Um, I mean, after all, your, your profile pics look so much alike, right? I'm, I'm not stupid at all. <laughs> yeah, but I said, if you want, you can feel free to do it. Matter of fact, it would definitely help me out. So I'd greatly appreciate it if you did. Uh, thank you so much uh, for going over to Patreon and getting those links over. Because if I go to Patreon, I'm going to have to open up different um, uh, tabs and everything else. And it'll just make it more confusing on my end because I have a lot of windows opened up already. And not windows, but yeah, windows over on this monitor. And I'm, I don't want to really like conflate too much of it. Uh, honeycombs are in the double S tier. It's one of my go-to cereals. See, what qualifies for double S to me is cereals that are so good that I buy the big jumbo Sam's Club wholesale bag. <laughs> and <laughs> and if I love your cereal that much, I'm throwing it in the double S tier. Now, you guys have to let me know if there's a cereal like that for you, especially if it's one of those that I haven't tried. 
I'd be willing to move it somewhere. But as of right now, that's all that we have. Okay, so we have Cheerios Ancient Grains. I don't know what the hell this is. I'm guessing it's going to be Cheerios with like uh, sunflower seed nuts and peanuts and stuff like that in it. Um, it's another one of these healthy foods. It probably could be decent with the right ingredients and stuff. Maybe. Um, like if you throw in some raisins, if it has raisins already in it, I don't know if it does or not, but if it doesn't, throw in some raisins, throw in some uh, um, sugar, things like that. You'll probably be able to salvage it, so I'm throwing it in D. Cheerios protein, you go in trash, and you go in trash. I don't know what the difference is between the two. I'm guessing it's the flavoring. One is probably cinnamon, and that one I think is honey. Either way, you're in trash because you don't taste that much different than regular Cheerios. It barely has any flavor. Um, I'm somebody that's big into trying to get enough protein, um, especially when I'm on my like bodybuilder's diet. Um, protein, if you're looking for protein, you're better off not even eating cereal. Get some eggs, some egg whites, some bacon or some sausage, Canadian ham, uh, some fair life milk. Like I said, that has a ton of protein in it. So just with eggs, bacon, and fair life milk, you're looking at like, 40 grams of protein in the morning easy if you're going to go for protein don't try to use cereal to substitute it because at that point you're just hurting yourself because at the end of the day all that's doing is <laughs> like taking something that's supposed to be good you're eating something that's not good and trying to get benefits that you can get better benefits in other areas and those things would be good the eggs and everything else they're delicious why would you substitute eggs and bacon and stuff that's good and can get you more protein for this that has less protein and doesn't taste good? Let me see. Blueberry checks. Um, I've never had blueberry checks. I've never had chocolate checks. Cinnamon checks I've had. Cinnamon checks I will put in D because, again, D are cereals that either are decent or are salvageable. <laughs> the cereal by itself in this, uh, let me go ahead and put this up here actually. The cereal by itself is probably something that, like I said, if it's decent, like something like blueberry or blueberry Cheerios. Those are cereals that you can eat them by themselves, and it's like, eh, all right. These other cereals, like the Alphabets, the Chex, the Cheerios, Ancient Grains, those are cereals that by themselves would be trash. But given the right stuff, they can be saved. You can save them with the right stuff. Whether you put fruit in it, whether you put sugar in it, whether you put... Uh, you know, something else in it, you can save it. Trash is cereals that are irredeemable. You you can't do anything about them. They're just done. <laughs> you can't put sugar in them. You can't put fruit or anything like that. They're still going to be garbage. You're gonna, All you're going to be doing is eating garbage with fruit and sugar. That's it. You can polish a turd all you want, but at the end of the day, you still just have a turd. Um, corn checks. Again, it's another one of those that's salvageable. With some sugar or something like that, it can be saved. Honey nut, I'm guessing it'd be the same thing. I'm gonna put that above the corn though. Rice, I'll put that above corn. Vanilla, uh, vanilla, okay. This, I haven't had it, might be probably trash though. Vanilla flavored cereals already start off below the, below the hurt, or beneath, behind the hurt. Like, they already start off down here. <laughs> Hey, thank you so much for uh, posting the links, man. I appreciate it. Um, actually, I've been just like grinding through these uh, 
the cereals. So, <laughs> um, let's get to Chocolate Toast Crunch, and then we'll start the next uh, stream. <laughs> uh, yeah, see, Chex Mix is okay, but that's not cereal. Chex Mix is cool as a snack. But, but this is all cereal. Wheat checks, trash. Wheat, when you talk about wheat, you're already in the trash tier. Let me go back to um, vanilla checks. Again, the reason why I put it in probably trash, one, I haven't had it. Two, when you take vanilla and mix it with cereal, it's usually never good. Um... Like, I can't think of a single good vanilla flavored cereal, like at all. So chances are you're probably trash. Just off jump. Chocolate Cheerios. Now, I haven't had these. If I was to guess, I would say they'd probably be in C list or C tier. Because I imagine with Cheerios, when it comes to like the flavors, the flavors are too subtle. So chances are chocolate Cheerios are a very subtle flavored cereal. And because they're so subtle, it takes points away. If the flavor is strong, I'd be willing to put it up here with Cocoa Puffs, but I doubt it. Chocolate Lucky Charms. I have not had these, but if I had to rank them based on just the idea alone, and if the chocolate cereal tastes like how I picture it, hopefully, which is just normal chocolate cereal, it would be an S tier cereal. Those of you that had it, you'd have to let me know, but it seemed like it'd be a win. But I've also had um, uh, I've had honey flavored Lucky Charms. And those are god awful. Honey Lucky Charms are god awful. Regular Lucky Charms are cool. Honey flavored is absolute garbage. So sometimes when they add flavor to it, it's iffy. I don't know if um, this is going to be in the good or in the bad, but I got to throw it down there. I don't, um, yeah, I don't have a P.O. box as of right now. Honestly, I don't expect anybody to send me anything, and I'm not going to solicit it. So, I have no real, like, rush to, to get a P.O. box. If more people get involved in the, the channel to the point where, like, they're commenting and things like that, and I'm doing more videos, like, challenge-related videos, then I would probably end up doing a P.O. box where people could send stuff. I can try foods from different countries and whatnot, but um, as of right now, there's no plans for it. All right, now, Chocolate Toast Crunch. Chocolate Toast Crunch. Okay, so even though it's called Chocolate Toast Crunch, it's not the ones that are shaped like bread. Um, so I'm guessing it's literally just Cinnamon Toast Crunch, but chocolate flavored instead of cinnamon. Um, I'm going to throw these because I believe I have had these. I just don't remember what they taste like. I'm going to throw these on a low B because I feel like they have enough flavor that it's distinguishable. You can eat it and know that you're eating chocolate and not just like slightly chocolate flavored wheat or whatever the hell else. So... I'm going to put those in B, on the low end of B, just be on the safe side. Again, if you happen to know any of these cereals, be sure to let me know, and I will change the ranking if needed. These cereals. Now, where did we leave off? Right here. Churros. Chur uh, Cinnamon Toast Crunch Churros. So, for those of you that are in the UK, churros are a uh, fried, breaded cinnamon dessert that you would get from usually like Mexican cuisine. 
It it tastes like a um let me see. Well, it's like a crispy fried dough with like sugar and cinnamon sprinkled on it. It's it's actually really good. But pretty much what they did was they took that and they turned it into a cereal idea. Now I'm trying to think, how does dough themed snacks work when they're converted to cereal? Because I, I feel like it's iffy. I don't know off the top of my head, but I feel like it's iffy. Okay, so y'all do have churros, so y'all definitely know what it is. I've had these, I've had this cereal before. Um, now, I would put these on the B list. I'm going to put them in high B because the cereal itself is very like thick and dense. So it's like, it's really tough to chew because of how dense the cereal is. Now it does soften up a bit with cereal, but I can tell you one thing, you never have to worry about those, that cereal getting soggy ever. It is good. But because of the denseness and everything, I can't put them too high. That's funny, John. You actually said that they're hard as you bet they're hard as hell. Yes, they are. <laughs> um, like I said, you never have to worry about them getting soggy ever. <laughs> Matter of fact, that should be something they put on a gimmick. Never go soggy in milk. But um, yeah, I, I got to put them there. Next, we have the OG Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Now, with these, the only question is, do I put them in S tier or double S tier? Because these are one of my favorites again. I could definitely see myself buying a big bag of these. So, you know what? Trip, double S. They're going into double S tier. Cinnamon Toast Crunch are one of the best uh, cereals ever. And I can't think of any other cinnamon themed cereal that that beats these can anybody present a challenge anybody show me a cereal that is cinnamon flavored that beats cinnamon toast crunch i don't think it can be done i, I think it's impossible oh come on john I, at this point you're 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 you're, you're finding in you windows and things there are no in you windows at this point you're pushing it <laughs> I say push it because I mean like literally pushing the the boundaries of what innuendo is. Let me see. Cocoa wheat. I don't know what the hell this is. And the, the box isn't giving me any idea. So you know what? Never had it, but probably trash. Cotton candy Captain Crunch. I've never heard of these. Hmm. Never heard of them. But given the fact that it's cotton candy flavored. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, given the fact that these are cotton candy flavored, I cannot, for the life of me, see these as being good. I can't. I can't, for the life of me, see those as being good. Um, also, by the way, the probably trash and trash tier list, I'm not putting in left to right order because they're trash. Nobody cares about them. But, um,. <laughs> The uh, cotton candy, I'm going to assume, is uh, a horrible flavor. Let's go ahead and move on. Count Chocula. Count Chocula is another one of these blueberry type cereals. Personally, I have it above blueberry, but it gets the low C. It's only slightly above blueberry. It's another one of those cereals that doesn't commit hard enough to the chocolate flavor. Like... When I eat Cocoa Puffs, when I eat Cocoa Pebbles, when I eat Reese's Puffs, when I eat the chocolate portions of those, I taste the chocolate. Like, I've had Count Chocula. It tastes like one of those corn-based cereals. When you take corn and try to make it into a um, chocolate flavor, it doesn't work. For me, chocolate works best with um, rice-flavored cereals or rice-based uh, cereals. 
you take corn and try to put flavor on it, it doesn't work. Yeah, I actually like cotton candy. Actually, it's funny. I, I got a story about that. I When I was younger, I loved cotton candy. And I remember going to a carnival one time and I ate so much of it that I got sick. And not only did I get sick, but I got sick for like years. Like I couldn't even smell cotton candy. I hated the taste. I hated the look. I hated the smell, everything of it. But then like a decade later, I eventually got to the point where I was able to stomach it again. And I started eating it again. So I don't have a problem with cotton candy, but I just feel like cotton candy as a cereal does not work. Captain Crunch Crunch Berry is another one of those good ones. I'm going to put this up here on the A tier or the S tier. Come on. Get over. There we go. I'm going to put these on the high S tier. These are very, very, very good. <laughs> When I say sick for years, I don't mean like I was like physically sick, but like I couldn't stomach cotton candy. The thought of it made me sick. I actually still I'm actually still in a situation like that with um, uh, apple turnovers. I cannot like when I was younger, I loved them so much that I, I like I ate so many of them that I can no longer do it. I can't eat. uh like, I can't eat apple turnovers. I can't smell apple turnovers. If I smell them bacon in the oven, I get sick. Um, I can't stomach them. None of that. To this day, I still can't stomach them. And I don't know. For a long time, I couldn't even handle flaky crust because of apple turnovers. But I could eat croissants, so it's not a big deal. Croissants I actually really enjoy. But apple turnovers, like, turn me off. <laughs> of the whole damn snack like i can't do it but uh yeah we're we're all in agreement crunch berries are a, a really high tier thing right <laughs> well i just had surgery to get a tooth removed so maybe you're on to something okay so here we go now we're getting into the trash tier of tricks remember what i said earlier the reason why this tricks uh cereal is at b is because they made the extra effort of making their cereal shaped like fruit. This is the new, I'm going to matter if I'm going to get the other one and bring this one up here too. These are the new tricks themed cereals that they have the genius idea of taking all the individuality out of each piece and just making them different color shaped or different color spheres. No. No, no, no. You took a back step. Your whole thing is marketing to kids. Why would you have fruit, fruit flavored cereal that have the fruit shapes, but then get rid of that for just circles? Nobody wants that shit. Not to mention, with the fruit cereals, you have like shapes like the grapes and the raspberries and stuff that have like crevices. And when it comes to like stuff like that, extra flavor gets stuck in the crevices so that means that the pieces have even more flavor than regular pieces you got rid of all the crevices it's just circles there's there's no extra flavor anywhere okay um total trash complete trash not only is total trash but it tastes like somebody instead of using frosted flavoring they use dish soap like it's i don't know what the hell the flavor is it's a, it's a weird flavor but it tastes horrible now, it is healthy, so it does have that to it. But because of how healthy it is, because it has so many vitamins, it tastes like soap. So that puts it in the tier of trash because that makes it irredeemable. You can't, like, you can't get, you can't put anything in it. You can't put fruits in it. You can't put sugar in it. You can't put none of that because no matter what you do, you're going to still taste the soap. At this point, you're better off just eating a multivitamin. Like, you get the same benefit. Ignore total. It's not worth it. It's absolutely not worth it. Don't torture yourself with that stuff. Garbage. Frankenberry. Frankenberry is right there with blueberry. It's just another cereal that's corn-based that tries to have the flavoring. Doesn't work at all. Don't even worry about it. French Toast Crunch. 
Brunch Toast Crunch is the cereal I was thinking about earlier when I saw cinnamon, apple cinnamon toast crunch. French Toast Crunch is the one I was thinking of. That is it. That's the one I was thinking of. Now, where would I rank it? Mm. I put it above Chocolate Toast Crunch. Well, I've never actually... Eh. Yeah, which one of those go above which? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe this one. I put it above it. Maybe. I don't know. It, it, it's it's good though. I'll give them that. Frosted Cheerios. Frosted Cheerios goes in the S tier. Matter of fact, it goes in relatively high S tier. I love Frosted Cheerios. That is one of the few cereals that, like, when it comes to the Cheerio flavors, it's absolutely delicious. Apple cinnamon is good too, but it's on a slightly lower tier list. Frosted Cheerios are amazing. There was a time when I ate like exclusively Frosted Cheerios. And like I said, they were absolutely amazing. I, you get nothing from me. Lucky Charms Frosted Flakes. Now these I'm going to put in a tier underneath. Well, I don't have Lucky Charms or Frosted Flakes on here yet. Just know I'm going to do put these somewhere around here. You know what? Let's put these... Uh, Let's put them in B tier. B tier. Um, I'll put them in the lower end. Because I don't know what happened. Somebody, whoever made this cereal, they um, they took two different cereals that don't really work well when you like combine milk and stuff. Because the Frosted Flake in Frosted Flake, uh, Lucky Charm Frosted Flakes aren't the same as regular Frosted Flakes. Like they did something to them to make them a, like less like to make them more resistant to milk, so it's like they're thicker, they're they have this weird coating on them that's not like frosting. It has this like weird taste to them, and I'm guessing the reason they did that is because if you like, I'm guessing that's something to do with the milk, the the mushroom mushroom, the marshmallows reaction to the milk, and it would probably cause some type of contamination type thing with the actual frosted flakes. So they put the coating on it because if they, or maybe it has to do with being in the box, the marshmallows in the box with the frosted flakes, if they sit in there for a long time, they have some weird effects. So they put some coating on the frosted flakes to make them um, resistant or something. I don't know. They just don't taste the same. All right, next one, Fruity Cheerios. That's, I haven't had those. They're probably trash. Again, this one I have had, and I know it's trash. <laughs> like I said, Cheerios, they always are very subtle with their flavors. So certain flavor types that demand impact with their flavors, chocolate flavored cereals, peanut butter flavored cereals, and fruit flavored cereals. If you don't have flavor, you don't get on this damn list. You gotta come. You gotta come hard with the flavor, with with those flavors. You have to come hard with it. And of course, this one, Golden Crisp. Golden Crisp is a high S for me. I love Golden Crisp. They are absolutely amazing. The only reason they're not in double S tier is because these things are packed with sugar. Like, I'm talking about can put you in a diabetic coma if you're not paying attention. Them things are stupid with sugar. Um, yeah, they're amazing. I love the flavor. I love the taste. I love everything about them. But you have to eat them sparingly. And because... I'm not allowed to just go nuts and eat as much as I want of those cereals, uh, of, of this cereal as I want. It goes in S tier because it's limiting me. <laughs> You're limiting me with how much I can eat. All right, next, Grape Nuts. Grape Nuts, trash. The reason I put Grape Nuts in trash is because 
growing up looking at the commercials and everything the commercials made grape nuts look good i don't know why i always wanted to try them because for some reason i thought they would have like a fruity flavor to them like as soon as you eat them they had like a fruity flavor to them they're just grain that's it they're just grain they have no flavor unless you put fruit and stuff in them chances are it's another one of those cereals that pretends to be healthy that really isn't healthy a lot like wheaties where it has no nutritional value whatsoever, but it makes it seem like it does. This is one of those cereals that you saw like back in the 90s. You see commercials with like middle-aged women sitting at some type of like wooden log cabin with nothing but a damn bowl of cereal. And it's like, okay, what the hell? What caused you, your life to be so damn bad that you're living in the woods eating cereal and that's supposed to be the, the up part of your day? What happened to your family? What happened to your, your, your loved one, your husband? Okay, funny story. I ate a whole box of grape nut. Uh, I had a bowl, didn't touch the side of it, but it expanded in my stomach. I didn't know that. <laughs> Cut to 30 minutes later, I'm dying. I'm dying on the toilet. Okay. So they expand. That's another thing. They turn into kidney stones in your belly. That's another thing. That's another down. Yeah, they, they, they get no love. <clears throat> Next one. Golden Grams. Golden Grams. Uh, Golden Grams for me. Personally, I put Golden Grams in the, in the C tier. They get right around here. I put Golden Grams right there. They, they have a distinct taste. For me, they're like... For me, they're like... A bootleg version of Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Like, there's just something not quite right about them. Like, they're good, but there's just something that prevents them from being on that next level. I don't know what it is. It kind of has the same feeling as Honey Lucky Charms. Like, it, it ha there's something to them that's just, like, off. Okay, here we go. We got the a whole damn line of honey bunches of oats. I'm just about to just rapid fire through these. Okay, so we have apple cinnamon crunch. These like they would be decent. I'm gonna put these a little bit over golden grams. We have wheat uh, whole wheat trash. We have honey roasted. These are a, a step above because you put sugar and stuff in them. It makes it that much better. Pecan and maples trash. Strawberries, decent. I'll put it slightly behind honey roasted. Uh, cinnamon bunches. I, I've never had these, so I can't really speak on them. Vanilla. You guys know how we feel about vanilla. Never had them. Probably trash. Okay, so whole grain almond crunch. Now, you took whole grain, which was already bad. And then you put almonds in them, which made them worse. Trash. Okay. This one has 30% more almonds. So you took what was bad, made it worse, and then doubled up on it. So even worse. <laughs> All right. Kicks. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Time, time, time. Out. This, this is Honey Kicks. This says Honey Kicks. Honey Kicks is... Uh, I've never had them. i never had Honey Kicks. They sound like they would be better than regular Kicks, but at the same time... Normally, when you take cereal and you turn them into honey, you give them this weird cardboardy chip-like texture to them, or crisp-like texture to them, and it doesn't come off great for me. It just doesn't come off that good. So, if I could assume, I would probably put them in like the D, uh, maybe C. I don't know. Honey Nut Cheerios Medley Crunch with oats. Personally, I'm somebody that likes oats in cereal. Um, how high I would put these? I'd probably put these up here. They go above the honey bunches of oats, I think, personally. Honey Nut Cheerios. Honey Nut Cheerios is one of these upper tier list cereals. I'm going to put this in the high A, personally. I love Honey Nut Cheerios. This is a cereal that already is good. You put certain types of toppings on them to make me that much better. I enjoy them. Fiber One Cereal. Fiber One Cereal. 
Now, normally, I put these in trash because, like, there's one thing when there's a cereal that tries to be uh, nutritious when it's not, like when it has no value. It's another one. It's a cereal that is 100% nutritious to the point where it sacrifices the taste. And that's where Fiber One cereal falls in. Same with Total. They focus so much on the health benefits, they ignore the, the, the taste. So Fiber One, while I would put it in trash, I'm going to put it in D because there's not a lot of sources that you get decent fiber from. Most people don't get enough fiber in their diet. If you look at like how much food you eat and look at like the nutritional value, I'm willing to bet you're not getting a daily amount of fiber in your diet. So fiber one cereal definitely helps when it comes to uh, rectifying that. Now the only issue is there's not a lot of other sources of fiber besides like pills. Otherwise you have to eat a lot of vegetables and things like that. So the fact that you can get a decent amount of fiber in just one bowl, it benefits. Like I said, total, the reason why total is in trash is because there are, mul there are different multivitamins and things like that. There are different types of uh, vegetables that you can eat that gives you a ton of vitamins. You can get vitamins. It's easy to get vitamins in your diet. Fiber is tough. If they ever had a potassium cereal, that would be another one. Potassium cereal would probably benefit because it's tough getting potassium. Even the whole stereotype about bananas having a lot of potassium is bullshit. You probably have to eat like 40 bananas to get a daily amount of uh, potassium. Okay, let's see. Banana bunches of almonds. Okay, so I'm guessing just looking at this, I'm getting a, I'm getting a feel of uh, like a banana nut kind of flavor. I'm not a fan of nuts. I'm sorry. I'm not. I don't mind eating like uh, peanuts, cashews by themselves. And those are the only types I eat. I don't eat walnuts. I don't eat almonds. None of that. I, I don't touch those at all. Cashews and peanuts I have no problem with. But I want them far away from other foods as possible. If I'm going to eat uh, legumes or uh, yeah, legumes, because I'm not going to say the other word because I'm I know there's gonna be innuendo all in the chat. <laughs> um, if I'm going to eat any, it's going to be those two, and I want them exclusively as a snack. That's it. Put some, uh, put some honey uh, seasoning on them. Put some spicy seasoning on them. Something like that. One or the other. I'll take it. But. Um, yeah, you mix it in cereal, you mix it in ice cream, you mix it in anything else. No, I don't want it. Raisin Bran Crunch. So this is pretty much Raisin Bran. They take clusters of oats and stick them together using some type of sugar. And you see you have like clusters in your cereal. These are very good. Personally, I put them in my A-list right up here behind Honey Nut Cheerios. I eat those a lot, uh, a lot of calories, a lot of carbs, real quick, so you don't really have to worry about, like, if you want to start your day off and you haven't had any, a lot to eat and you want, like, a good amount of carbs quick, uh, Raisin Bran is, is where you want to go to. Uh, Masalix, so I'm guessing this is Masala with a name to it, I don't know what's in it, it I never had it, so I can't really speak on it. I know there's people in the UK that eat masala all the time. You can definitely tell me more about what, like where you would rank that compared to other uh, stuff. But yeah, as of right now, that's going in the never had. Frosted Flakes. Now already, I'm going to tell you right now, Frosted Flakes are going to be in the upper tiers. It, it's, it's not even a question. It's in the upper tiers. Personally, I have it right here. Bam. I'm not going to put it past Frosted Cheerios just yet because Frosted Cheerios has the benefit of, ah, you know what? Wait a minute. No, 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 no. They, Frosted Flakes have one great benefit, and I'm going to tell you what it is in a second. Frosted Cheerios does have the benefit of not getting as soggy as quickly. 
the Frosted Flakes, they lose their flavor very fast. They get a... Uh, they get a uh, soggy fast. So it gets to the point where you end up drinking the milk before you've even finished all the cereal. But the benefit that Frosted Flakes has over other frosted cereals is that when the flavor gets off of your cereal and gets into that milk and you have that Frosted Flakes milk, it is absolutely heavy. I'm telling you. Frosted Flakes, the milk in Frosted Flakes is absolutely delicious. I, I could be wrong about this, but I swear I remember hearing about somebody selling the milk by itself. Where they would just take Frosted Flakes, let it marinate in milk, and then just like filter it and sell the milk by itself. That's how good the milk is. It is amazing. Like That's why I got to put Frosted Flakes above Frosted Cheerios. When I think about it, it's like, no, the, the the milk puts it over the edge. <laughs> okay, Crave. I've had this Crave cereal. This is um it's like a it's like a very like dense wheat outside, but with like a, a chocolatey inside. Um the chocolate on the inside isn't like liquidy or anything. It's it's solid, but it's softer than the outside. It, uh, it, where would I put this? I would put this, it's, it's, it's average. I would put this above, I'll put it above Golden Grams. It's okay. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm sorry, Alicia. I put it above, I put it, oh, wait a minute, hold on, I'll, I'll put it above this. No, I put it above, uh, I'll put it right here. I'll put it right here. Personally, I'll probably go for a bowl of Oreo O's before I go over Crave. There was a time when I ate a lot of Crave, but after eating it for a while, I was like, you know what? I don't feel like, I feel like this is kind of overrated. <laughs> like, I'm not really feeling it. <laughs> so, like, I stopped eating it for a long time. It wasn't the case of like me just not liking it anymore. It was just like, I think I over uh, value that. Next, we have Fruit Loops with Marshmallows. Fruit Loops with Marshmallows. Personally, this is another one of my go-tos. I love Fruit Loops. You throw marshmallows in it, it makes it that much better. Yeah, see, I, I would have Crave as a snack. That, that Putting it in cereal, it actually makes it worse. But Fruit Loops and Marshmallows. Fruit Loops and Marshmallows is absolutely amazing. Fruit Loops are great, even though they don't taste like fruit at all. <laughs> um, we've been brainwashed by the mainstream media into believing that Fruit Loops are fruit-flavored. <laughs> you throw marshmallows in it it's good only thing bad about fruit loops is that after you've got done eating it and if you don't wash your bowl out immediately you start to see the mess left behind by fruit loops and it makes you like because it has like this waxy residue on the bottom of the bowl and like this powder substance and it like cracks and stuff and it makes you think like that's in my stomach is that edible? <laughs> like, is it edible? I feel like I I've just eaten coated plastic. I don't, is it edible? So that's what keeps Frosted Flakes marshmallows from getting higher because I still don't know whether or not it's hundred percent edible. <laughs> I don't know yet. <laughs> well, yeah, I just explained why Fruit Loops are one of the cereals that are like iffy for me. So there's that. Frosted Krispies. Frosted Krispies. Frosted Krispies are another one of my go-tos. I definitely will put this up here. I'll put it above Fruity Pebbles. It's an it, it's for me, it's like frosted cereals. They can get away with being somewhat subtle. Whereas other cereals, like other flavors, you gotta come hard with the flavor. Frosted flavored cereals, 
you can go light with it and it still makes it amazing. So frosted crispies are extremely light. You'll hardly taste any of the frostedness of it, but it's still there enough that like you are satisfied with eating it. And then you get the whole fun thing with the whole cereal talking to you and everything because it pops and it uh it leaves a little bit of the flavoring in your milk. Definitely uh uh Okay, I'm just going rapid fire through this because there's a lot and we're about to end the stream soon. So I want to try to get all this stuff out of the way as soon as possible. Apple Jacks with marshmallows. It's amazing. I love it. I love Apple Jacks. You throw marshmallows in it. It becomes even better. As always, this one of those cereals that I'm going to put above this. It has all the benefits of Fruit Loops and marshmallows, except it doesn't have the weird plastic residue. Frosted mini wheat. I'm going to put this above. Where's my shredded wheat at? Where do I put the shredded wheat? Here it is. It's going up here. All these flavors can go up here, personally. I don't mind the blueberry. I don't mind the strawberry. I don't mind any of it. Well, I don't know anything about the chocolate. Never had the chocolate. I ain't gonna judge. It's wheat, so it's probably trash. <laughs> wheat fla wheat flavored chocolate is probably garbage. Uh, little bites. These are probably good. I'll throw these up there with it, too. Strawberry, these are good. I'll throw these up there with them too. Uh, yeah. Touch of fruit. These are just like the other ones, except they have a, uh, they have like these little pieces of um, fruit in them and they're good. They have like these little pieces of fruit in them and they're delicious. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in there too. The fruit is like, it's like somebody took gummy snacks and put it inside the, the, the um the wheat so it's like as you eat it you're not just getting like a big bristle of damn hay it has like little bits of like fruit pockets in it that adds a little bit of juiciness and flavor uh all brand likely garbage cocoa crispies these are also very good i'm gonna throw these up here kind of the same as frosted crispies except they have the benefit of turning milk into chocolate Likely garbage, likely garbage. Pops, uh, do, 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 do. these are another one of the go-tos. Probably not my main go-tos, but they're good. I'll put these right over here. Oh, yeah, I'll put it right there. Pops are pretty good. Chocolate, Frosted Flakes. These actually have a strong chocolate taste to them. Uh, I'm gonna put these right here. Like I said, chocolate's one of those flavors that you got to come strong with uh, the flavor. Haven't had these, likely garbage. Well, I haven't had these either, but I, well, you know what? I haven't had them, but I can still say they're garbage just by looking at them. Raisin Bran. Raisin Bran are good, but I'm going to put them below Raisin Bran Crunch. Those are going more, more towards the back. Those are saved if you put cereal with it. I mean, not cereal, if you put sugar with it. Put sugar with it. They're delicious. Uh, Rice Krispies. These are going in D. They're going above a number of these. I'm putting these right. Uh, I'm putting these in high D. Again, very fl uh, bland. A lot like corn pops or corn flakes. They're only saved if you put something in it, like sugar or something. Very important. Crispix, never had it. Likely one of those cereals that maybe can be saved if you put sugar and stuff in it. Crave double chocolate. I'll probably put these. Well, I haven't really had them, but just based on how they look and how they likely taste, I imagine they're a lot like the other Craves. Probably better than the other Craves, so I'll just put them right there. Uh, Rice Krispie Treats cereal. Okay, I know what this is. This is... Uh, when they turn, they take the Rice Krispies, they, they turn them into like clusters. And it's like frosted Rice Krispies, but they're in clusters instead of individual rice pieces. They're like clustered up. Personally, when I was a kid, I ate the hell out of these. Um, I will put these above frosted Krispies, but below Cocoa Krispies. Smart Start, never had them. Likely Trash. Kicks. 
this is when I was earlier when I was talking about um, with Wheaties and Alphabet cereal that there was one other cereal out there that tricked parents into thinking that this is a good cereal for kids. Kix is it? Kix is a cereal. Kix had the audacity to market itself as a kid cereal, even though it was fucking flavorless. Like there was nothing in it. <laughs> it tastes like cardboard. But they had commercials with kids eating it. And the kids would like, people would ask the kids like, why do you like them? Do they taste fruity? No. Chocolatey? No. Do they taste frosted? No. Why do you like them? I just do. That was the fucking commercial. The people that saw the commercial didn't know what the hell they could use to market this to kids. So they just had a kid on TV and said, hey, eat it. it I like it. <laughs> and so that, that was enough. Like, okay, you're right. That, I'll try it. And my dumbass growing up actually like pointed out some kicks in the store and had my parents buy it thinking it was I was going to be that kid in the commercial. I think, okay, well, you know, there's something to these cereal. It has to be something. And as I ate it and the, <laughs> the nostalgia critic said the best as I ate it. And with each bite, my, my disappointment got bigger and bigger. So as I bit it, I'm like, Like every bite got worse. <laughs> the, dessert, the, the the audacity to market this to kids. With that being said, it still goes in D tier because as bad as it is, I'm still willing to say it's saved if you put sugar and stuff with it. That's the only reason why I was able to like finish it because it was sugar. I mean, yeah, I put sugar in it and it saved it. Total Raisin Bran. I'm going to go ahead and throw this in the trash again too like the flavor is too strong i'm gonna finish this tier list and i'm gonna wrap up the stream um all the reactions that i wasn't able to do today i will do for the next stream so i'll keep those in mind i don't know what i'll be doing on the next stream in the meantime like this one i'm doing a tier list maybe i'll do like a quiz or something i don't know but we can do something else in the meantime Maple Cheerios. Never had it. Never had it. Never heard of it. You have to tell me what that's like. Root brute. What the hell? This sounds like somebody tried to make a damn cereal using a damn cartoon rapist. What the hell is fruit brute? That sounds horrible. Why the hell would I eat something called fruit brute? <laughs> I feel like if you went to the store and somebody asked you, okay, what type of cereal are you looking for? I'm looking for fruit brute. Like that, that should get you put on a list. <laughs> What the fuck is a fruit group? <laughs> oh, man. I'm going to put on possibly trash because whoever is monitoring my internet, whatever FBI agent is monitoring my internet, I want them to know I have no part in that. <laughs> okay. Multigrain Cheerios. Personally, I think they're trash. Um, it's another one of those cases where you take a cereal, try to make it too healthy, and you end up fucking with the original recipe mess it up and the thing is multi-grain cheerios are no different from a nutritional standpoint from regular cheerios only thing you did was you made it so that even if i added sugar i couldn't save it oh honey o's are actually very good i actually really like honey o's these i would be willing to put in my a list let me see where i put on my a i put them right here they're very good I imagine they got a lot of sugar in them because they do have like a sticky uh, type of texture to them almost. Like they're the type of cereal that like can get stuck to your teeth or the roof of your mouth or something. Like they're they're a really sticky cereal, but they're good. They're really good. I've eaten them. I would eat some more. And yeah. Oops, all berries, Captain Crunch. Now this, this is a cereal that a child would make. <laughs> if someone said, "Hey, what what type of uh, what type of cereal would you like?" and you could just make your own, this is what it would be. These are a damn cheat code. <laughs> those are a cheat code. Well, I'm, I'm gonna put them slightly below. Those are a freaking cheat code. There's no reason that cereal should ex should exist. It's all sugar, nothing else involved whatsoever. <laughs> like it takes it's like 
playing a video game, but then using a, a cheat device to just give yourself all the items in the beginning of the game. Like the, That's essentially what this is. You're taking the hard work of having to fight through those um, yellow landmines that are going to leave your the roof of your mouth looking like no man's land. You're avoiding all the 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 the, the struggle <laughs> for the reward. <laughs> the berries were the reward. You said somebody added more cereals at the bottom of the page. I don't think so. I think life was the last ones. But um, yeah, like. It takes all the reward, like it takes all the 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 the, the hard work away. Oops, all berries is a cheat code. <laughs> it's too damn good. Like you, you can't do nothing with it. It's way too damn good. Okay, what's this one? Cheerios. Uh, another one of those cereals that can be saved with sugar and stuff. Uh, not really too many benefits. Whatever. Now this is the complete opposite of. <laughs> Oops, all berries. This, I'm going to put this in the A. This cereal right here is, I'm going to put it in the N, actually. This is one of those cereals that's 100% just, just raw, don't give a damn, Black Air Force energy. For those of you that know what Black Air Force energy is, regular Captain Crunch is all Black Air Force energy. You eat this cereal if you hate yourself. They're good, but you're going to do damage to yourself. This is this is the masochist, uh, <laughs> how the masochist starts their day. <laughs> this is how a masochist starts their day. This is, if you're looking for a mouth that looks like you've been chewing on razor blades, that's what you eat. Okay, we have regular Lucky Charms. Regular Lucky Charms is a great one. One uh, Another one of the go-tos. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to put it above that. I'll put it right here. Lucky Charms is another good go-to. Um, another Fiber One. This one's worse than the last one. I've actually had those when I was like really serious in my dieting. I ate these. I would uh, combine it with um, artificial sweetener, like uh, sweetened loaves or su sucralose. I would um, mix it together with fat-free milk and eat that all the time. It wasn't great, but I was eating it for the benefit, uh, benef the nutritional benefit alone. But that being said, I can still accept the fact that they're trash. What the hell is Peach Cheerios? Never heard of them. Probably trash. Peanut Butter Crunch. Peanut Butter Crunch is another one of my go-tos. I absolutely have to have it. I put it above regular Captain Crunch. Not Oops All Berries. Oops All Berries is the top, easily. Apple Jacks, another good go-to. Um... I thought I had Apple Jacks. With, okay, right here. I'm, it's right behind Apple Jacks with marshmallows. Oh, actually, it's behind. It's behind that. There we go. That's where Apple Jacks belongs. It's great. Special K uh, yogurt. Special K yogurt is decent. I'm willing to put this in the bottom of C. It's a decent cereal. It has little clusters of yogurt, like dried yogurt, that tastes decent. This is... Wheat and almonds, trash. Chocolate delight. So this is special K with chocolate. This goes in the D list. I mean, you take the wheat, like wheat and chocolate. I don't think mix very well, so I'm not gonna put that. Like that's where that's gonna belong. This is cinnamon and something. Cinnamon and. Ah, damn low resolution pictures. I don't know. Cinnamon and something. Uh, that's going to go towards the end of D list. <laughs> Protein Special K. Protein Special K. I believe Protein Special K also has like a cinnamon like flavor to it. I used to eat these a lot when I was trying to find a substitute for. Uh, like try, try, try to get as much protein in my diet as possible. Um, it's low tier. Again, it's 
if you want protein for breakfast, eat eggs and bacon and stuff. You'll enjoy yourself a lot more. This is chocolate and almonds. Trash. Original Special K. Trash. Okay, Raisin Bran Cranberries. Personally, I like raisins more than cranberries, so wherever Raisin Bran is, this is going to go slightly below that. Wait, it has raisins in it, too. That changes things. That's going right there. That changes things a bit. <laughs> okay. No, I mean, this is the Special K Cinnamon flavor. Protein. Um, Where was the other one at? Where did I put that other one? D. Take your ass to trash. Anybody have a regular ass flavored cereal that just has protein benefits? Who cares? Red berries. These are actually decent. Um, I'm going to put these up here with Chocolate Delight. Honey. They could be good. Don't know. I don't think I've actually had these, but get, based on how I know Special K taste, throw honey on it. It probably becomes somewhat decent. So you're going to be down here. Fruit Loops. Fruit Loops, of course, is one of the go-tos. Um, I'll put you... Oh, personally, I'll put you above Frosted Fruity or Marshmallow Fruity Pebbles. Fruit Loops is one of the go-tos for sure. Rice Krispie Holiday. Holy hell. Rice Krispie Holiday. Wow, I haven't seen these in decades. Like, it's been so long since I've had these. I, I completely forgot these existed. I completely forgot these existed. Now, as far as taste, they're like Frosted Krispies. Um, they have a little extra something in it. I don't know exactly what it is. But just for the nostalgia factor alone, I'm willing to put you right here. I'll put you up above them. Frosted mini wheat pumpkin spice. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Apple cinnamon crunch. Special K. That's going to go uh, down here. I'll put you above it. Apple cinnamon. Better than cinnamon, personally. Corn flakes. Same as with other things. Can be saved with sugar and stuff. So I'm going to put those right there. Actually, I'll put you above Cheerios. They're, they're safe. Marshmallow Frosted Flakes. Now, I've tried these. These don't really go too well with marshmallows. I prefer them plain uh, than with the marshmallows. So, I will put them uh, right around here, maybe. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Now, the chocolate ones with the marshmallows, those are much better with marshmallows. The flavor goes together better. So I'm going to put these up here. Um, where exactly I place them? That's the question. Oh, right here. If if chocolate frosted flakes are right there, then chocolate frosted flakes with marshmallows are right there. Yeah, I don't. You don't see those in America, really. Or at least not in my area. I don't see those uh, Rice Krispie holiday specials anymore. If you do see them, it's likely going to be only around the holidays. And even then, there are places that just don't sell them. Cinnamon Frosted Flakes. I was so disappointed by this cereal. It's 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 not trash, but it's 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 low tier. Not not even worry about it. This is blueberry and blueberry with something clusters. I think these will go great, like great with blueberries. Um, so I'm willing to put these right up here with the strawberry. They seem like they'd be decent. Probiotic Special K. Do I look like some old orthopedic wearing goddamn depends dependent old person? No, I don't. No, I don't need pro. I'm not worried about my pro uh, about probiotics. I don't care. Wildberry Fruit Loops. Honestly, I'm gonna put these right over here with Fruit Loops. <laughs> because let's be real, Fruit Loops don't taste like fruit, they damn self. So chances are wildberry fruit loops don't taste like it either. So it's just like, meh. Nah. <laughs> mm. 
Amazon sells a lot of uh food and stuff. You can that's where I got my um fiber one cereal from before the store start having it. I was eating it for, I was ordering it from Amazon. Raisin bran with bananas. It looks good. Looks good. Looks decent. Only thing is, if I had to choose, I would rather put my own bananas in it because I know these bananas are going to be like dehydrated banana chips. And I'd rather just put fresh bananas in my damn self. This is another protein one. Don't know what it is. Well, looks like it has nuts in it. That That's a beyond no. Frosted Flakes Banana Cream. What the hell is going on right now? So it's a banana cream pie, or it's Frosted Flakes that tastes like banana cream pie. I'm going to tell you guys something that I, uh, I've never had this first one. I'm going to tell you guys something that you probably don't know about me. I don't really like fruit flavored uh, creamed pies. I don't mind fruit flavored pies, like apple pie, blueberry pie, stuff like that. But when you turn it into cream, banana cream pie, lemon meringue pie, uh, key lime pie, all that stuff can go to hell. I don't eat that stuff. It's garbage to me. I don't see how other people can eat it. Don't fuck with it. So banana cream pie can eat my, they, 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 it can suck my left nut so hard that the right one gets jealous. I don't want it. Next one, Frosted Mini Wheats with Fruit Medley. I don't know. I'm guessing this is similar to the other one. The other Frosted uh, Flakes with a touch of fruit, maybe. But then again, it doesn't say that. It just says Fruit Medley. I don't know. I don't know what these are. Never had them. Don't know what they are. Seem like they would be decent if it's what I think it is. Pop tart cereal. Pop tart cereal. We actually there was a period in time when there was a, we had a lot of that. Like we bought a ton of it, but just like with Crave, over time it started to like, it felt like it was over. We overhyped it. <laughs> like at the time we we're eating it, it was like, oh, this is good. This is good. Then like over time, it was like, eh, it's all right. <laughs> so maybe we just ate too much of it. I don't know, but I would just uh, I put this above Crave. I, per, I personally prefer over crave, but it's whatever. And this is brown sugar pop tart cereal. Don't know. Sounds bad. I'm gonna put this right uh, here. Seems like that's a good spot for it. <laughs> Yeah, you got to order your cereal from Amazon. Okay, here's the Honey Nut Frosted Flakes I was talking about. This stuff right here is trash. Honey Nut Frosted Flakes is garbage. It's just like honey... Uh, it's just like honey flavored Lucky Charms. It's complete garbage. Lucio O's. I don't know what the hell these are. Never heard of them. I'm not going to put in probably trash because it looks like it has marshmallows. So maybe that's a saving grace. Strawberry Krispies. Never heard of them. Never had them, but they look like they'd be good. Where do I do? I, do I have any other fruit flavored Rice Krispies around here anywhere? No, I don't. Do I have any of them on it, on this list somewhere? Uh... Fruit flavored Rice Krispies. I don't think I have them. Rice Krispies right there. They're definitely not better than Rice Krispies, I don't think. Just going off the top of my head. I'm going to have to put these in low D tier. Well, I don't know. I don't, you know what? I'm just going to put on Never Had. Because it seems like that would be unfair. These seem like they'd be good. Yeah. Five American dollars. So that would probably be like maybe... Three dollars fifty or three pound three and a half pounds for you guys maybe something like that. Honey smacks. Honey smacks are a lot like golden crisp. I will put honey smacks above golden crisp only because they're less tooth rottening. <laughs> golden crisp are the crack of cereal. 
Honey Honey Smacks is the cocaine of cereal. <laughs> it's it's not as strong. <laughs> you don't have to worry about eating a bowl and then having to like check your sugar levels before you eat another one. Honey Smacks is where to go if you want the a, a more a softer flavor to it. Peeps never had the cereal. Probably trash because I hate the candy. I don't like marshmallow candy at all. So that goes completely in the ground. Raisin Bran with vanilla almond. I've never had these. Probably trash because one, it has vanilla. Two, it has almonds. Both flavors I don't like. So they can they can go somewhere with that. Peanut butter pops. Chocolate peanut butter pops. Never had them. Probably trash. It's another one of those cereals that like they specialize in something. Stick to what you specialize in. Don't go chasing waterfalls. Stick to the rivers and lakes that you used to. If you're pop cereal, stick with pops. Your thing is corn flavored cereal. Not corn flavored, but corn based cereal that has a slight coat of some type of frosting. That's where you stick. That's your specialty. Stay the fuck there. Don't go playing around in the peanut butter and chocolate realm because you're just going to disappoint yourself. That's all that is. Donut Etts. Donut Etts. I've tried these. They have a, like, they're very low tier. I would be willing to put them right here. They have like a very, these are the powdered donuts flavor. They have a very waxy taste to them. Like you eat them and they're like, they make the roof of your mouth feel like a damn slip and slide. Like they're very waxy and like eating a damn candle. It's weird. Honey bun. Honey bun is actually good. The honey bun one is good. Now I'm going to put these. Uh, are they willing to go in the B tier? I'll put these in low B, B tier. Only thing that will make those better is if they put some cinnamon in the flavor. Because right now like it's just frosted. If they throw cinnamon in there too, it, it'll go higher. Pumpkin spice chip. Get out of here with the damn pumpkin spice. What is this? Raisin bran. Okay, what's the difference between this raisin bran and the other raisin bran? Like I'm dead serious. What what's what's the difference? Raisin bran, raisin bran. I guess the only difference is they're made by two different companies. I guess I have to put them about the same. I don't think there's really much of a difference between the two, right? <laughs> All right. Red, white, and blue crunch. Um, I'm sure these are decent. I'm going to put these up here. I'm going to put these right here because I don't know what the white flavor is. Red and blue, I'm sure, is great. I don't know what the fuck the white is, so I'm going to step away. Uh, sprinkled Donuts Crunch. Never had them. Likely are good, but I've never had them. I'm not going to judge. Uh, I'm going to put these in D, slightly above the other Fiber One cereal. When you have clusters and strawberries, it's decent. I already told you why I had those where they're at. Strawberry Shortcake Crunch. Never heard of these. These are like, they would be good, but I've never heard of them. Never seen them before. Sugar Cookie Toast Crunch. Again, another one of these cereals I've never tried. Looks like they'd be decent, but I'm not going to throw them up there just yet. Berry Berry Cheerios. Yeah, it seemed like they would be kind of low tier. I'd be willing to put them right here. Because like I said, bear, uh, Cheerios are very subtle with their taste. You take berries, berry is a flavor that needs to be big, and I don't know like what Cheerios is going to bring to the table when it comes to flavor. Seems like it's going to be very weak, so I, I'm not going to mess with them. Yummy Mummy, never heard of it. Could be good, might not be, don't know, you guys have to tell me. Now we're in life. It's been such a long time since I've had life cereal. I don't remember what it tastes like, so I can't like judge it. Somebody would have to tell me what these taste like because I, based on what it is, I can't judge it. I can tell you right now, these are probably trash because it's vanilla flavored. Um, gingerbread spice, likely trash. I'm going to guess the original is 
salvageable with sugar and stuff. So let's throw those there. Cinnamon, probably salvageable too. And strawberries, those will probably go actually above the original. There we go. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is my... Let's zoom, let's zoom all the way out so people can get a good look at everything. This is my... Is there a way I can like... Oh, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. So this is my ranking for cereals. I'm going to save and download the image. There we go. Save and download the image. That way I can post. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to post this on YouTube and I'll tell people that my explanation for these rankings will be appearing in a video sometime next week. Because I'm going to take the parts of this uh, stream that has the serial uh, rankings and I'm gonna turn them into its own video and each reaction. I'm gonna cut those out and have those as separate videos as well so um, Yeah, this is my cereal list Any if there's any refinements, I'd be willing to make I would actually throw these up here in s double s Probably throw peanut butter crunch in double s uh, There we go. Screw it. Screw it. This is my new tier list. This is my new tier list. I'm going to save it again for the new update. There we go. Complete it. Now it says presentation mode. Let's see presentation mode. All right. Well, there we go. That is my serial tier list. If you guys want to take the serial tier list, I will go ahead and um, leave the link in the chat. Hopefully you guys can see it. Hopefully it'll take you to the actual tier list so you can make your own tier list if you happen to be a fan of serial or if you happen to um, want to just do it yourself, feel free to leave it there. Um, this seems like a very polarizing list. A lot of people like it. A lot of people hate it. <laughs> but um, yeah, now there's many different tiers out there. There's sports related tiers. There's food related tiers. There's movies, music, uh, actors, um, a ton of stuff. So let me know what you all think in the comment section and everything. Uh, I want to thank you all for coming through for another uh, Da Vinci well, not DaVinci Watch, but a live reaction on Patreon. I don't know exactly what I'm going to start calling this. I need to give it a proper name. <laughs> and next time, we'll continue with the reactions. We'll continue with something else that is interactive, whether it's another tier list or a quiz or something like that. I don't know, but we'll see. Um, John, I saw you mention about uh, doing gameplay videos together. That would be interesting and fun. Um I'm wondering if there's a way I can try to incorporate that in the Patreon. Maybe make a tier list or a, a tier that would allow people to like come in every once in a while and play games together like on stream. But yeah, that being said, I'm Devon Da Vinci. I look forward to seeing what you guys have to uh, say in the comment sections and stuff. Let me know what your opinions are on the different types of cereals. For those of you that are in the UK, hit up Amazon and order some cereal. There, look at this. There's a ton of different cereals for you to choose from. If you happen, if you want to question like what my recommendations is, these are my top cereals. These are the ones. These are the ones that you can choose. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and bring that back up again. These are the cereals that you can choose from. The double S to A. You can't go wrong with any of those cereals. Feel free to pick any one of those and go with it. But, um, yep, I will see you all Monday on the live stream. Alicia, I know that you um, probably won't be able to make the Monday stream, but I will see you on Wednesday. And I'll see you guys when we play Portal 2. Anyway, that's been this video. 
I'm giving you the deuces and signing out. I look forward to seeing you guys on uh, next stream and stuff. And that's pretty much it. Peace.